Hi, question number three. Points A and B have coordinates minus 1, 2, 5 and 2 minus 2, 11 respectively. The plane P passes through B and is perpendicular to AB. Find an equation of P giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D. Second part, find the acute angle between P and the Y axis. Okay, so we have a situation where we got the vector OA is equal to um, minus 1, 2, 5. OB is equal to 2 minus 2, 11. And we've got a plane and the point B is in the plane because the plane passes through the point B and that is perpendicular to the line AB that has got uh, the vectors OA and OB. So if it is perpendicular all right, we can find the equation of the vector line AB. How are we going to do this? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to find the direction vector AB. So AB is going to be AO plus OB. So what is AO? This is minus 1, it's going to become plus 1, and so this is minus 2, the other one is minus 5. Then plus OB, and OB is, um, sorry, 2 minus 2, 11. So we add these two vectors. And we're going to get 3 minus 4, 6. Therefore, the equation of the plane AB, because this line is perpendicular to the uh, plane P, hence uh, it is normal to the plane and it satisfies this coordinate, I mean this direction vector rather. Therefore, we're going to, get, we're going to say the equation of the plane P is going to be 3x minus 4y plus 6 z is equal to d. We can find d by substituting any of those points. Let's take this one for instance. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8, 6 times 11 is 66. And you add that up, it's going to end up with d is equal to 80. Therefore, the equation of the plane can be given as 3x minus 4y plus 6 z is equal to 80. First part of the question is done. For the second part, we need to find the acute angle between the y axis and the plane. And plane P, the angle between them. Now the y axis implies that the z axis is going to be 0 and the x axis, x -axis is going to be 0 as well. So we can state the direction vector here and that's going to be 0, um, 1 and then 0. And the dot product with the plane, the direction or the normal to the plane is 3 minus 4, 6. 3 minus 4, 6. When you dot product, 0 times 3 is 0, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4, 0 times 6 is 0. Add, the, add that up, you're going to end up with minus 4. So if you were to find the angle between two vectors, it's going to be cos of theta is equal to vector A times vector B divided by magnitude of A times magnitude of B. So applying that here, vector A times vector B is minus 4 divided by the magnitude of this vector, which is uh, the square root of uh, 0 to the square plus 1 to the square plus 0 to the square is 1 times the square root of 3 to the square is 9 minus 4 to the square is 16, 6 to the square is 36, and you add that, that, you add that up, you're going to be ending with 9 plus uh, 16 plus uh, 36, so that's going to give you... Um, well, 60, 6 and 6, 12, 1, 2, 61. All right, so 61. So let's work it out on our calculator here. So I've got then minus 4 divided by the square root of 61. That's going to give us minus 0 0.152. Okay, so minus 0 0.512. Therefore, the uh, inverse cos of the angle, minus 0 0.5. 1, 2 is going to give us the angle. So inverse cos of the answer. So, so um, this is in degrees mode. Yeah, that's fine. So inverse cos of um, minus 0 0.512 is going to give us this much. And then you take 180. And you take, uh, oh dear, sorry. Inverse cos of. Um, 
minus 0.512 is going to give you this much. You take this and you minus 90, you're going to get the acute angle 30.8. So, acute angle between these two is going to be uh, 30.8 degrees. So here's the answer to this part of the question.